I'm in the process of moving right now, so this isn't going to be up to my normal video quality. Uh, this just recorded on my iPhone. But I just got back from the range, and I was astounded with my newest gun purchase. I absolutely never would have expected this. I am absolutely a gun snob. I love Smith & Wesson revolvers. Um, Ruger's revolvers are okay, uh, but I never would have considered that a $200 revolver could shoot as well as this gun. This is the Rock, Light, Rock Island Armory, uh, Model 200. It's imported by Armscore. It's made in the Philippines. This is a uh, definitely a budget gun. Uh, I got this for $176 out the door. Um, it's a kind of a copy of a Colt Detective Special crossed with like a Colt Anaconda kind of action. I uh, have the cylinder release as the pullback style. Uh, of course, it's six shot. And this is chambered in 38 Special. And I fired uh, some plus P's out of it just fine. Uh, it ran great, uh, just a little more flash than regular 38s. But man, this thing is a sweet shooter. Uh, I was stacking rounds in there like quarter size groups consistently with double action. It was amazing. And compared to this little Model 60, this little Model 60 was inaccurate compared to uh, this arm score Model 200. So I, I originally got the Model 200 just as kind of like a, how horrendous can a $200 revolver really be? And I got it, I tried out the trigger. Uh, trigger is excellent in single action, pretty good in double action. Uh, the only problem that I have with it is that it's slow timed. So if you cock it slowly, it's not quite locked up. So that's slow timed. So it'll shave the side of the bullets off if you're cocking it slowly, but quickly it's locking up plenty tight. It's just when you go slowly, it'll shave bullets. So it's something where I might have to send this back to Rock Island at some point, but you know, I'm not, really not complaining for $176. I was expecting this to lock up and explode or do something else horrible. I wasn't expecting it to be a wonderful shooting pistol. Uh, the grips on here, hard plastic. Uh, Armscore calls them combat polymer, but uh, nothing really combat about these. But they feel great and they're not at all uncomfortable when you're shooting them. You know, I just can't, I can't believe that this is a $176 gun. If you guys can find one of these in a gun shop and you can try out the trigger for yourself and shoot a box of ammo through one, you guys would be doing yourself a favor. This is a wonderful gun. This is staying in my kayak and I'm absolutely going to keep this. But uh, that's my short little video. I should have uh, some more videos coming up in the next few weeks once I move into my new house. But uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.